So this little morning session is definitely going to be different. This is just a short introduction to where I am and an explanation of what I'm doing. I'm back in Halifax, hoping to add to the uh, gallery in my website. Corridor, it's noisy in here. Some pigeons. In quite a built-up area, uh, Dean Clough Estate. And the plan today is to do some POV. Oh, I'm pointing there. behind there's a magnetic contraption. So POV, I'm going to strap the uh, GoPro. Just take you around, see what we can find. Got a new toy. This is the Ricoh GR3. The reason I bought this is because it's a small, compact camera. A discreet, bit of a toy camera, though it's not. It packs quite a punch, to be honest. But it's nice and small, and hopefully, I'll come away with some decent images today. Just play around with a few settings and see how we get on. Right, without further ado. We did have some light earlier on. That seems to have gone. Faded away. It doesn't help, does it? So yeah. New camera. It was the first day out. Really, I should have uh, had a bit more experimentation. I played around with it, you know, in my office it on and off and things like that and changing aperture and going through the menus things like that so i'm currently on put me on manual manual setting f8 as well yeah some nice clouds there it really work does it this leading line here Stone wall to Dean Clough. The reason I'm doing this um, gallery really is for more documentary as well. Not sure if that'll work. You got red. Here are the barriers, temporary barriers. And then you've got the red of the North Street Bridge. Right, a bit too wide here, let's have a go. Oh, it's flashing at me. Now, we've done this somewhere before. Let's go on here again. Right, let's bring that down a bit. Exposed is that? Now it has got IBIS as the camera, so in body image stabilization. So that'll give me some play with the shot speed. And fixed 28 millimeters, it's quite wide, but that's what I wanted. This is what I was after. Cobbled stones, all the nice patterns. I've tried it before, it didn't really work out. I'm going to try it again. There must be something using the bridge. Sure. So, as I said, the main reason I got this camera is due to its size, its Pocketability, really, and for the use of my street photographer, more aimed towards the the close-up, the people, the candid moments. The reason I got the 28 rather than the X version of this, which is a 40 mil, is because obviously it's a wider uh, angle and it'll include more in the scene. It'll be more befitting, really. It'll allow with some errors compositionally when it's quick moments as opposed to a 40 mil which is more of a tighter crop. I'm out today in Halifax to be honest, really quiet. 
That's good work. You got the aluminium railings. There's these scaffolding background. Uh, maybe. Oh shit, that's not bad. Let's get it level. Fill oven. There you got blinkies again, so God I'll get you used to this. Short speed wheel aperture. You can customise this to how you feel fit. I think I'm alright at the moment, but let's just see. Let's step back a bit. Level. To get a pedestrian. No, it's so quiet. It's ten to eight in the morning. Most places are shut. I started to just to allow me some time, just to get a bit used to walking around with the camera. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it at all. And I'm gonna head to my next destination. I'll see you in a bit. So I'm back in the car. Didn't really feel it in Halifax, not much going on. You know when you get that feeling, just move on. So I'm now heading into Bradford. Now, I'm not expecting medicals here because it's not gonna be busy. It's a Saturday morning, but again, I'm just here just to get a feeling for the camera. Um, you know before when I said I chose 28mm rather than the 40mm, what I was trying to say is it's more forgiving now when you're shooting oh, people, sorry about that. Right, let's get into Bradford, see what we can find. Love how the light is bouncing side light oof blinkies oh no yeah Well, there seems to be something happening. What have we got here? Bradford Literature Festival. Every now, every now and then the light does come out. So I'm just hanging around the Alhambra area. See, there's quite a lot of scaffolding uh, attached to it at the moment in time. So it's undergoing a bit of, bit of work. Absolutely desolate. Desolate. What was it? It's, it's only nine o'clock, but. Even so, you're not going to get proper street photography people here. Lovely architecture on here, lovely curved lines, and reflections as well. Flashing highlight. Huh?
Thank you.